I like to travel. Over the past few years, I've grown increasingly addicted to exploring. What's one of the best things to explore when traveling? Sampling the local cuisine. Where will I wind up next? This is Mad Marty, and this is KBQ on Mad Respect Eats. Check out the actual review listed in the description. KBQ is located at 6332 East Riverside Boulevard in Loves Park, Illinois. Now this is an establishment that my cousin and I wanted to try for a little while. And before the visit, I didn't know much about Korean barbecue, aside from the fact there is a little cook-yourself element to it. That being said, it did not disappoint. Now before I get to the pros versus cons, first I'll admit I struggled with the menu a little bit. One side of the menu was for their staff to prepare, whereas the other side, you cook yourself. All that being said, there was a lot in the menu I still didn't understand, but fortunately the servers were very knowledgeable. For this visit we tried a special combo as well as the fried chicken. And that brings me to the pros. First I'll say, this is one of the most unique dining options in the area. The food was fresh from the mushrooms to the greens and even the onions. The fried chicken was delicious, even if it was a little overkill. And all the meats were very flavorful with great cooking aromas. I was very pleased. Next I'll say that the service was really on top of their game. My drinks were full, they checked for rice refills, no complaints there whatsoever. And simply put, KBQ is just plain fun. I wasn't the greatest with the utensils, but it was still fun to use. I'd also like to say that I'd take a date here in a heartbeat. It's really good for a night out because the atmosphere is very modern and it has a good classy feel to it. There's a good bar area. It's a very neat and clean restaurant, which kind of brings me into the cons a little bit because speaking of dates, this is going to be an expensive one. We didn't even do drinks, and this place could easily cost you over $50 a head. Another thing that I didn't quite understand is they brought out our side items very early, so there was a good gap between when we were brought the side items versus the main course. It just made the experience a little unbalanced, but that's more of a nitpick. Next I'll say, uh, some diners like me, especially, would probably require more of an explanation, or, or maybe even an instruction manual when it comes to the food prep. Personally, I wouldn't know what I was doing. Fortunately, my companion did all the cooking for us. And also, this place might not be for the kids if you're cooking on your own because it does have a hot cooking stove on your actual table. That said, with the table, just a little side note, our table was a two-seater, which actually, once again, is good for a date. Uh, finally, I'll say that parking could be an issue with all the other popular spots in the same shopping center. Booking a reservation may also be desirable as it's evident in their website. Well, anyways, I'll just say bottom line. I would come back here anytime if I was in the mood to splurge. Officially, I'll give KBQ a rating of 4.5 stars, but I'll round up on the fifth star. They certainly earned it. This could very easily be one of the bigger hotspots in the Rockford area. In any case, thanks for watching. This is Mad Marty reminding you to do what's responsible, avoid what's irresponsible, make the most with what you got, and get respect. Mad respect. Meanwhile, support local. Thanks again, and see you next time.